Welcome to SWK's video series on Sage 100. This video will demonstrate the repetitive invoice functions in accounts receivable. We are looking at version 2020. Under the main menu in AR, we'll, we will launch the repetitive invoice entry to set up our templates. The flashlight icon will display a list of the existing templates. I have modified my list a bit to include additional information so your list might look slightly different from mine. A customer is for, a number is first selected and then we add a reference number. It's user's choice when assigning the reference number. Note that next to the reference number is a memo icon. I think that this is a terrific place to add a copy of the agreement or contract or whatever it is that we have so we have easy access from within Sage 100. We can add a customer no or a, uh, a customer's um, purchase order number or the agreement number, whatever makes sense here, because that can be added to the invoice uh, form. Another user choice here is the select cycle. I like to use this cycle to indicate the date that I, of the month that I am going to produce these invoices. It's handy if you're going to have things um, generated throughout the month. The next two fields are con for controlling the time period an invoice should be generated. When invoices are selected, the dates here will control whether or not an invoice should be generated. The last date build is also important. When you generate your recurring invoices, if the select date is less than the last build date, an invoice will not be generated. The remaining fields and tabs are just like the standard invoice. Note that credit card information can be attached to the uh, invoice, and in that case, the customer's credit card will be charged when the invoice is updated. Clicking on the printer icon will produce a list of the repetitive invoice templates. If I add a selection date, it will look to that selection date for showing me what invoices will be generated. And let's take a look at that. My data happens to be in 2020, or I'm sorry, 20, uh, 2025. And let's see what happens when we select the 15th for being our selection date. We look in here and we'll see that uh, from division number one, I'm going to have two invoices generated. And if I look at division two, I have another two invoices. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my repetitive invoices. Here's where I can add my invoice date and also my selection date. And I'm going to change my selection date to the 15th, just as we had reported, and I'm going to change my invoice date to be the 15th also. I'm going to add, ask for all cycles, all customer numbers, and all reference numbers. Now you'll note that when I click Proceed, I now have a clear button, and if I want to remove any uh, prior selections, I would just click on this. But clicking the printer icon is then going to show me the invoices that have been produced, and let's take a quick peek. These are just standard AR invoices, and you'll see that I have four invoices, just like the report had shown me. Now let's say I'm reviewing my invoices and I want to change something. I merely come to Invoice Data Entry, and all the invoices are here, and I can make the necessary changes. Just remember, if I make a change here, this is not going to change the template. I'm going to have to go back to the template to make that change. What I would do now is simply update this invoice run like I normally would. I'm going to have a register and a daily transaction register. 
Managing the repetitive invoices is made easier with a customer repetitive invoice view found in the Explorer menu. Let's just launch this real quick, see what it looks like. I've made some changes to the standard one for information that I think is important, such as times billed, the invoice total, the comments. Of course, you can make this any way you want. We do have other videos that demonstrate how to work with Explorer views. At SWK, we are committed to helping our customers get the most out of their software investment. Contact us at info at swktech.com to start a conversation on your solution. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.